Hey everyone, by the end of this video, you will know how you can find out the products I'm on board when you get a Stripe payment notification. My name is Dominic Lehnert. Let's get right into it. So you are at the right place right now if you ha are having the problem that you, you are using Stripe payment links. So you've set up in your Stripe account Stripe payment links that people can go to and buy products through. And now you're trying to build an automation and you're trying to find out what product did this person actually buy, which is, which is not quite as straightforward as it sounds. So let's have a look at this problem together. So the way this looks is in your Stripe account, you can set up these Stripe payment links. So the way this looks, for example, is here we have a Stripe payment link to buy paint, for example, and then Stripe will automatically generate a checkout page. This is the way the checkout page looks. So you, someone just puts in their email, the name, their credit card information, et cetera, et cetera, and then they can buy a product. In this case, they can subscribe to the product because it's a, it's a monthly payment product. And now the problem is someone buys this uh, product or someone uses this Stripe payment link, this Stripe checkout page to buy the product. And now you're trying to find out what product did they actually buy? So if you go over to Integromat and you've set up a event watcher for Stripe, the input you will get looks something like this. So you get a ton of different things, but if you go through it and you're trying to find out um, what information do I get? You will find that you actually don't get the information of the product they bought. So you don't actually know which product did they buy. You just know this is the price they, they paid. This is when they bought it. This is the credit card type they used, et cetera, et cetera. So all the payment information, but Stripe doesn't actually tell you as of now, which product did they buy? So this is the problem we're trying to solve here. And this is a very recent problem I had in building an automation for my client. And I just wanted to share one possible solution with you and thought this might help you. So one possible solution for this is that we can use the actual receipt that Stripe generates. So if someone uses this Stripe payment checkout page, they put in the information, what they get to afterwards is a thank you page. And then they will also get a receipt, receipt that gets generated. So this is the way the receipt looks like. This is for the exact payment link we just looked at. So it's what they bought was paint. And we can see that on this receipt, the name of the product is actually mentioned. So we don't have it in the input here that we get when we get the notification that a product was bought, but we have the name on the receipt. And this is what we're going to, to use here. So in, we go over, back over to Stripe, we get a notification, okay, someone bought a product using a Stripe payment link that we have. And you can see in here that we actually get the receipt URL with it. So we can now use the receipt URL and make an HTTP GET request. So we put in the receipt URL as the URL we are requesting. And what we get back is the actual website as HTML. So if we open the data here, you can see that this is the actual HTML of the receipt. So this is this is the receipt as, as it is rendered, the HTML as it is, is rendered. And over here, we can see that this is the actual HTML of the page we just looked at. So what we can now do is we can actually go in and try to find the name of a product on this page. And the, what do we need to do for that is we need to get all the Stripe products we have. This is not a built-in functionality, but we can make an API call to Stripe. The way this, if you wanna do this, the way this looks like is that you can simply, you, you select your connection and then you use the URL v1 slash products and it's a get request. And that's all you need to, to, to specify here. And then if you run this, it will actually return all the products you have in your Stripe account. So here you will get a list of all the different products. In this case, this is just a trial account. So there's like three different products in here. And then you can actually use the names of the product and match it with the receipt. So this is what we would do afterwards in here. And we can see, okay, can we find a product in our Stripe account whose name appears on the receipt over here? And one example, the way this can look like is you can then use it, same setup over here. This is an actual uh, use case. So we first get Stripe payment notifications, then we fetch the receipt, then we fetch all the Stripe products we have so we can compare to all the names. And here we can then iterate all the products and then find out, okay, does one of the products actually appear on the receipt? And if none of the products appear, we can generate an error or do whatever. And if one of the products was found, we might want to do something else in this case. 
So this is quite simply how we can work with Stripe payment links. So this it hopefully is the solution to your problem. I hope this uh, possible solution and possible workaround for this problem might help some of you out there. If you have a different, very specific problem, maybe that you need some help with, feel free to reach out. Also, if you just are looking for someone to build whole automations, whole automation scenarios in Integromat for you, feel free to reach out anytime. Um, also, if you want to support me doing these videos, feel free to buy me a coffee below that helps me stay caffeinated and have my energy for these videos. And my name is Dominic Lenart. Take care and goodbye.